If I wanted to exfoliate my lips, I would have bought a lip scrub. Which Sol de Janeiro should make, actually. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. Today, I'm going to be reviewing and doing some swatches of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Tinted Lip Butters. Over the summer, I did a video comparing the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream to the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Whipped Body Butter. If you saw that video, you know my love for the Boom Boom Cream, the scent, the experience it delivers. So, of course, their Brazilian Kiss Tinted Balms really intrigued me. I I don't love lip products. They are slowly growing on me, but I do love a tinted balm. I had been scouring YouTube for review videos of them and I couldn't find anything. Maybe I missed something out there, but for the most part, the videos I could find weren't quite the information I was looking for. So in today's video, I'm going to give you an overview of the lip butters and I'm also gonna compare their tinted lip butters to their regular Brazilian Kiss lip butter because boy, there is is a big difference. I'm also going to swatch all three of the tinted lip butter shades on my lips because that was something that I was struggling to find because this is an expensive lip butter and I didn't want to have to purchase all three, even though I still did. <laughs> I will have timestamps in the description box below so you can jump around and watch whatever portions of the video you're most interested in. So if all of that sounds good to you, keep on watching. Before we dive into the video though, I need you to tell me in the comments below what your favorite tinted lip balm is. I'm always looking to try new ones, so I'm just curious what your favorite ones are. Let's first talk about the original Brazilian Kiss tinted lip butter. It's actually called the Brazilian Kiss Capuchu lip butter, but I feel like I'm saying Capuchu wrong or am definitely going to say it wrong at some point. Capuca. Capuca. I'm just gonna refer to it as the Brazilian Kiss lip butter, just for my sake and dignity. <laughs> so their original lip butter retails for $18 and with that you get 6.2 grams. It says, meet the secret to beautiful Brazilian babe lips that are always ready to kiss. Their ultra indulgent lip butter leaves lips looking smoother and feeling softer thanks to an infusion of capuchu butter, acai oil, and coconut oil. This product is meant to be multifunctional in that not only does it make your lips totally kissable, but it serves as a base for lip stains and lipsticks. It can be used on dry skin, such as on your cuticles or on your elbows. It can also be applied to the high points of your face as a natural highlight. <laughs> In my notes, I spelt butter, B-U-T-T-U-R. <laughs> That's concerning. This is a very expensive lip butter. I don't think I would have ever been able to bring myself to pay $18 for a lip butter. However, I received mine in a gift set for Christmas a year or two ago, and now having tried it, I can see myself repurchasing this one that's gone. I will definitely miss it. This lives up to everything I dreamed the Sol de Janeiro lip butter would be. First of all, you get the beautiful Sol de Janeiro packaging with the contrasting colors. I love how fat the applicator is. I love a chubby lip balm. It just adds to the overall self-care and the application. It goes on very, very smoothly. It's not super waxy or super greasy. It is the perfect consistency, in my opinion, for a balm. And the smell, guys, is everything I thought it would be. It smells both delicious and sexy. It smells sort of like cocoa butter, like cookies, but I still get the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream vibes. It's so, so good, and you can certainly smell it long after you've applied it. I keep this at my computer desk because I'm terrified of losing it. I am notorious for losing any sort of lip balm, so this stays at my computer desk, and let me tell you, the days that I edit, my lips have never been softer. Actually, the first time that I had been using it, I could tell a difference in how soft my lips felt at the end of the day. Everything the marketing claims this product to be, I feel it is. This is a great 
lip butter. I would say it's worth $18, but of course that's gonna be subjective to everyone. But if you're looking for a luxurious experience from your lip butter, as well as a good nourishing lip butter, I think you're really gonna enjoy this and I think it's worth it. Moving on to the Brazilian Kiss Tinted Lip Butters. I have consistently been using all three since October-ish, so I have some settled thoughts and opinions on them. But first, let's read the claims. These retail for $20 a piece, and with that you get 3.12 grams, which is almost half of what you get with the lip butter, which again was $18. The three shades they have are Keep It Real, which is a sheer petal pink that boosts your natural lip color. Soulmate is a warm and creamy sheer cocoa that subtly deepens the shade of your lips. And Teeny Bikini, which gives you the dreamiest coral hue. According to Sol de Janeiro, our tinted kisses pamper lips with a delicious blend of capuchin butter, acai, and coconut oil. They are oh so nourishing and they bring a diffused blur of highly sheer color to lips that is effortlessly irresistible and so kissable. This is the lip butter for kissing. I had to pause when I read this because of the phrasing highly sheer color. What? 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 What does that even mean? Sounds like an oxymoron. I had already been using the Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter long before I purchased these, and so I anticipated their tinted lip butters to be the same. The same formula, the same scent, the same feel, everything that this is but with a tint. I was so not prepared to be so, so wrong. <laughs> so very wrong. I'm gonna come straight out and say that these are not the same at all to the lip butter. They are a completely different formula, a very different scent. The only really good thing, I love the tint these offer. A true tinted lip balm, at least what I'm looking for, I feel is hard to find on the market. I feel that many of them give my lips too much color and or the formula is too slick or too greasy or too heavy. It's not balmy. It's not a true tinted lip balm. So with that, in terms of a tinted lip balm, I feel that is where this product shines. But sadly, that's it. <laughs> So let's get to the specifics, okay? Firstly, the packaging, I like the way the packaging looks. They are very aesthetically pleasing. I, again, like the contrasting colors. I think it looks very sleek. I like the embossed Sol de Janeiro logo here. I love that this looks like a bullet lipstick. It feels like a bullet lipstick. Again, it adds to the overall luxurious experience of using the product. However, I work in healthcare and I like to carry a lip butter in my scrub top pocket. And every single time I would bring one of these with me, the top would fall off in my pocket. It kind of looks like and it sounds like it has a nice closure, but apparently it's not. So that was a major bummer for me. For that reason, I stopped carrying it at work because Gross. No, sorry. Secondly, one of the things I love most about the lip butter is the scent. And so I expected, hoped, assumed the tinted balms would smell the same and they do not, they do not at all. I mean, to me, it doesn't smell terrible. I get a cocoa butter vibe, very slight, but also a Play-Doh vibe. Definitely more Play-Doh than cocoa butter. So with that, right off the bat, these were a major disappointment. The reason I shelled out the money for these was for the experience. This is not a luxurious experience to use and to wear. A huge missed opportunity that they did not deliver that with their tinted balms as well. Lastly, I think this is my last con with these. This is so smooth to apply. It glides over your lips like butter. It feels like your lips are being smothered with Brazilian kisses. It's just so soft and plush and again just the overall experience is wonderful. These not only are they not as soft and emollient feeling, there's actually some texture to these. Some very unexpected texture. Nowhere in the marketing did I see anything about being exfoliating or to have some sort of texture granules in it but they're most definitely definitely are. It wasn't evident the first time, even the first few times that I used this, but over time, it's almost like the product is wearing down and exposing more and more of these small granules. And it's so weird because it doesn't look like it's supposed to be part of it. They're not evenly spaced out, like they're meant to be part of the product formula. So it really freaked me out. But after reading the reviews, I saw other people mention the grittiness and the texture to it. So I don't know if this is normal 
or if there has been some bad batches made. If it's an issue with a bad batch, it's weird that it's all three, especially because I bought all three at different times. I haven't heard controversy or anything about it, so I've continued to use them. I mean, I haven't had issues with it. It just doesn't make for the smooth, enjoyable experience, much like the lip butter. As far as the actual application and feel and wear time and experience of it on my lips, I also don't find it to be great. Of course, because of that grit in there, it makes this so-called lip butter unenjoyable in my opinion. It does leave my lips feeling moisturized, but it's almost like I had just put on a coat of something. It doesn't feel like it's penetrating into my lips and is actually nourishing them. I also find myself reapplying this more often. I wonder if because this lacks the, the penetrating nourishment, <laughs> that sounds very bad, that my lips are looking for, I find myself reapplying this because that's what I'm looking for and this continues to not give that to me, if that makes sense. So as a lip butter, essentially these are only okay. By the end of the day, after reapplying this numerous times, my lips don't feel any softer or smoother. As far as being a tinted lip butter, like I said, I feel that is where this product excels most. I wouldn't say that it's super long lasting, but this is what I am looking for in a tinted balm. I feel that it gives your lips just enough tint. It really does enhance the natural colors of your lips. My favorite one is Keep It Real just because it's the most neutral of the bunch. However, I feel that with my complexion, all three shades are wearable for me. With that, let's get to the lip swatches and then we will conclude the video with my thoughts and opinions, even though I feel like they're already pretty obvious. All right guys, I will keep this short. I don't enjoy these and I would not recommend you purchase them, especially for $20. I do enjoy the color payoff these have, but like I said, that's it. I would, however, recommend the original lip butter. As I have already said, this not only is a great nourishing lip butter, but this is an experience. This is a luxurious lip butter. And just to point out, Sol de Janeiro says, this is the lip butter for kissing. I highly, strongly, hold wholeheartedly disagree. It's not an experience. It's not a sexy experience. It's not a vibe. This is the lip butter for kissing. That is all I have for you today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them for me down below. Have you tried the Sol de Janeiro lip butter or the tinted lip balms? I would love to hear your thoughts, your opinions, especially if you had a much better experience with the tinted butters. If you haven't yet seen my Sol de Janeiro versus Tree Hut video, definitely go check that one out. Spoiler, I might be working on a video trying reviewing all of the Sol de Janeiro products. It is, it is a process because there's a lot. I wanna be thorough. I wanna do you right, so stay tuned. I want to thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you hit that subscribe button so you can come back next time. And until next time, I hope you have the most wonderful day. I don't know, are my lips kissable? Trey says no. Do you have anything to say today? Any advice, words of wisdom? Today, I'm going to be reviewing for you. What am I doing? Moving on to the Brazilian Kiss Tinted Capucho Lip Butters. Capuca. Doing some swatching of the Sol de Janeiro. De Janeiro. De Janeiro. The Sol de Janeiro. De Janeiro. De Janeiro. De Janeiro. De Janeiro. Of the Brazilian Kiss. Does it sound like I'm saying that wrong? Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro. The swatching of the Sol de Janeiro. <laughs> Why does that sound like I'm saying that wrong? Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro.
I can't roll. <sighs> Today I'm going to be reviewing and doing some swatching of the Sol de Janeiro. Ooh, I have been stuttering over this. I totally forgot what the product name is. Over the summer, I did a bear. <sighs> this is gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough video. I'm gonna have a hard time. I'm going to give you a brief overview. Let's start first. Let's start. <sighs> oh. Retail for $20, and with that, you get 3.12 crams. However, like I said, in terms of t how, ugh, this, what, what is this? Lipstick on your collar, and just who have you been kissing? Oh, that's right. 